Hi, this is Emily. Um, I just recently started a new job and met a coworker who is also a new employee like me. Um, during our conversation, she mentioned that she was close friends with a woman by the name of Jane and that this woman was found murdered along with three others. They were all employees of a burger chef that was located in Speedway back in the 70s. Um, my paranormal group partner, Mark, had previously done a, a paranormal investigation at this burger chef and at the location where their bodies were found. What made it even more interesting is that I found out that, that the next day would have been the anniversary of the date of her murder. I honestly felt that it was possible that Jane was trying to communicate and I was going to try to make this possible for her. Well, let me tell you about this murder. And I'm reading this from Wikipedia and it states that it says just after 11 p.m. on Friday, November 17th, 1978, four young employees of a Speedway, Indiana Burger Chef restaurant located at 5725 Crawfordsville Road, disappeared. They were kidnapped during what was believed to be a botched robbery. The murdered bodies of Jane Freet, Daniel Davis, Mark Flemons, and Ruth Ellen Shelton were found that Sunday afternoon over 20 miles away in a rural Johnson County, Indiana woods. Davis and Shelton had been shot multiple times execution style. Jane had been stabbed twice in the chest. The handle of the knife had broken off and was missing. The blade was recovered later at autopsy. Flemons had suffered a blunt force head injury, possibly from running into a tree while trying to escape. It was later determined that he had been beaten prior to his death. This case was never solved. <clears throat> These EVPs were captured at the site where their bodies were found. The area now um, is, is a housing addition. Um, I'm going to play for you the audio now. EVP session, location of the Burger Chef murders. I came here because I wanted to talk to you guys, specifically Jane, but willing to talk to Mark, Daniel, and Ruth. Does anyone here want to say hello? Jane, can you tell us who the killers were? Can anyone tell me their name? What is your name? Is this Jane? Can you say hello? Jane, I met your friend Annie. Was she a talker when you guys used to hang out too? Jane, who stabbed you? Who was it? What was his name? Mark, he came here before and talked to you guys. Do you remember Mark? I hope that somehow you are able to find peace and able to cross over into the light. I'm going to end this session now because I have neighbors looking at me, wondering what I'm doing. So I'm going to move to a different location and start recording again. So I'll be back. I just felt like I wanted to scoop back in my chair and fly out. My daughter claims she just saw a face. Um, it was the first time in my life I got scared by a ghost face. That was like huge. She said she saw a huge ghost face. 
of a male. What did he look like? Did he have brown hair? Or, I mean, what did he look like? One was... How old? I think he was like maybe 20 years old. Uh-huh. 22 years old. Yep. Around there. Yes. And he, he had blonde hair, I know that. He had a... I think he had a narrow nose. A what? A narrow nose. I don't know. I can't. But it was like I couldn't. It didn't even take a second. It was like a quarter of a second that I saw his face. Really? And it freaked me out. Wow. I felt like, yeah. like I was about to like. I didn't even feel alive that time. I felt just weird. We're very near the road now. You can hear all the traffic. I'm feeling less anxious in this area, so I don't think we're in the right spot, but who knows? And I'm here to talk to the victims of the Burger Chef murders. Is anyone here? Recorder here, record your voice. And if you talk to me, then this will pick it up. But if you can give me some names, if you knew the murderers, then maybe, or some leads or some something that can help solve this case. I mean no disrespect, no harm, only to give some, the families some closure, comfort, and the victims as well. Because I get the sense that they're somewhat restless. And I think that's because this case has not been solved. That's the feeling I have. Jane, are you here? Do you remember your friend Annie? Can you give us a message? Okay, thank you, Jane. How about Mark? Is Mark Flemons? I think that's how you say it here. Can he say hello to us or give his family a message or tell us anything about this crime? Daniel Davis. Is Daniel here? Okay, how about Ruth Shelton? Ruth, can you give us a message? There's so much traffic here, I'm going to move to a quieter area. Because I feel like we're not in the right spot. Do you where, feel that? Where we were before, it was exactly the right spot. I know, so we're going back there. Real quick, you guys got a message for me. Oh, yeah. This is the... I feel it here. Tell me who did this. Daniel, was that you that my daughter saw? Thank you guys so much for talking to me. I hope that I can be of some help to you guys somehow. May you all rest in peace. God with you. Okay. Okay. Why hey, you